Honey, what did I fucking tell you about learning to not overblow mods? Uh, Excuse me. But seriously. What the fuck do you people learn? Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy. Now, recently, Darkzo underscore released a video discussing all the scrap content of Sonic.exe. However, he said that he wouldn't be able to cover other stuff of Sonic.exe because he was basically done with it. I'm here to cover it all. And if Darkzo doesn't want to cover what else is left of Sonic.exe or what new information has popped up, fuck it, I'ma do it. I'ma do it. So let's start. No worries. And I'm not gonna cover, I'm not gonna be able to let you hear all the songs because I don't have the power to do that kind of editing. And plus, it would make this video way too fucking long. It would be the same life as Dark Zones. So let's get to it. 1.0. Not much. All there was was just some unused stuff and a scrap section of too slow. That's it. 1.5. God Complex Sonic Song. What the fuck was that? What's that? And why is there ambulances outside my house? God damn. God Complex Sonic Song. It's basically unnamed, but this was a song for God Complex Sonic. Like, um, okay, what was that about? Then there's Hamil Decide and Marty, Martyrus, which is essentially just some ambient reversed Hardy songs. There's a three minute game over theme. What the f? Then I put an entire section dedicated to Melhog. Melhog has two songs Melting and then two versions of Confronting. Confronting version 2 and version 1. And if version 1 or confronting old sounds familiar, that's probably because, conf in my head, confronting probably served as the basis for the, s for the more widely popular Confronting Yourself, a song where Sonic goes up against Sonic.exe with, with a pinch of sounds from Undertale. Now, Confronting Yourself is popular and I was, when I heard Confronting Old, when I immediately heard the beginning, I was like, wait, is this Confronting Yourself? Is this the, is this Confronting Yourself's demo version? Because if that's the case, then that means Confronting Yourself was in development as far back as Sonic.exe 1.5 at a time when the mod was still fresh and new, which is insane to think about. Considering that Confronting Yourself wasn't even made at that time, so oh, that's surprising. For some other stuff of 1.5, I put extra, and all there was, all the extra stuff, was that Satanos was going to be in 1.5, which, honestly, that surprised me, because I thought the dude was made for 3.0. Since he literally fitted everywhere else in 3.0, I thought he was made for that. But no, he was developed as far back as 1.5, which is insane. On to 2.0 shit. Yeah, I'm not even joking, this is just a random shit. 2.0 had some unused sprites, backgrounds, concepts, plus some icons that were unused and basically scrapped. Now I put a section called Lord X shit because all it was was just random stuff for Lord X. Fate had two versions, old, which is Fate version 1, and version 2 of Fate, or just Fate. Then there's a version 1 or an old version of Cycles. So yeah, as for some other stuff, there's an... Eclipse, which is just an old version of Black Sun, an old version of You Can't Run, and then there's Old Chaos. Okay. And that's basically it. N nothing really else. Oh yeah, 1.5 had some stuff from Sunky. Basically just some remastered stuff. 2.5. Some unused winter stuff or Christmas content. As that was the whole focus. As 2.5 was the Christmas update. And also, uh, there's been reveals that there was a 2.7 update, which I'm gonna have to make a whole video for that after I'm done with this one. I can tell I have a long week of work ahead of me because I have to research all the content that was scrapped for each part of Sonic that I see. Yes, that even means DLC expansion mods. Eat your heart, eat your heart out, utter, eat your heart out to other FNF mods. You think you have a bunch of unused content? Especially versus Imposter version 4, nah nah, Sonic.exe is, Sonic.exe is the treasure trove of unused content. Some unused winter stuff or Christmas stuff, 
Mistletoe was scrapped. Slave Bells was the only song that's recovered. Then there's a remake of Milk, and then okay. And now on to 3.0, which really takes up like over half the paper. Let's go over characters. So there's Slash, and Marstar Bro was gonna feature himself in Backslash. He even has icons and an entire sprite she made for him. Just went all unused. Requital, Hog, Scorch, Sally. Old, On My Way. Exe, Batman Sonic, Boyfriend. Exe, The Void, Secret History Tales, Grindware, Bratwurst. Exe, Rosie underscore Old, Rerun Sonic, No More Innocence, Mono. Bw, Dsk, Rodent, Zoldic the Hellhog, or Zol, or Zoldic, or Zaldic, Great. Grietos and Demogri, Sunk.FLA, Orpo Sonic, Movie Sonic, Lumpy Touch Sonic, Educator, Ex Exterior, We and Wecnia. Ha Wecnia Ed Educator uh, No More Innocence Rerun Sonic Secret History Tales, Devoid, Batman Sonic, Requital, Hog, Scorch, Sally Dot, Alt, and Slash would be the only characters that would be saved. No More Innocence is in a strange predicament because No More Innocence actually has his own, his own FNF mod already. Which is just called No More Innocence. So it makes me wonder why was he here. Orpo Sonic... Is actually described that he was just gonna be a crossover between Sonic.exe and the Orpal Guy mod, which was funny because Orpal Guy had 20 songs and I don't even see any unused content for that one. The rest of these were all just random. Movie Sonic and Lumpy Touch Sonic were essentially gonna be the same thing, but Lumpy Touch Sonic is like a more creepy version of Movie Sonic, which is funny because Movie Sonic is essentially the original Sonic design for the movie, no, for the Sonic 1 movie. Greatos and Demogree were basically put together, and Demogree got the least amount of coverage, even though he was one of the first characters to be teased for 3.0. X-Terrier. X-Terrier is basically just the Sonic that you see from, I think, Nightmare Continued or Spirits of Hell. I don't know which one, because they both Exceller and Exterior, they both almost fit the same thing. They're both Fallen Angels. Our stuff for some other, our stuff includes trailers, some concepts, some ideas, and some random shit. Basically, just random stuff that was just lying around that nobody give a fuck about. And now on to the songs, and this is a massive fucking list. By God, and I'm done with this shit about the team because I'm basically done with. I basically would just want to be done with Sonic Taxi, but I can't escape my life because I can't escape it. And I can't lie, some of these songs, some of these songs I like, but. I just want to be gone, but I can't. I can't. It just grabs me. Let's just cover all the other stuff. You Can't Run version 2. There's going to be a version 2 of You Can't Run, but I think it's worse. Triple Trouble Encore, which was saddening for me when it got scrapped because this was one of the songs that got leaked, and this hyped me up as fuck. Final Escape, which hasn't actually been made into a playable form. Faker Lord X song, which is apparently going to be the first Lord X song. Cycles version 3 or Cycles Remaster. I just put version 3 because this is the third version of Cycles. Gatekeepers or Judgment, which is apparently what everyone was hyped about because apparently Gatekeepers was being hyped up. I was more I was more or less being hyped up for the DLC mods getting some of their content leaked. Because some of the scrap content for the DLC mods is honestly more interesting than looking at the main mod because the main mod, all the scrap content for each update was just the same fucking characters over and over. Hellbent version 2, which I actually prefer than Hellbent version 1. Hellbent version 2 has a more clash feel, but it honestly just fits Lord, Lord X's feel. Hellbent version 2 is intimidating, and it's also kind of goofy, which is very fitting for his first 2.0 design. Though version, though 3.0 completely changed that design. Lord X phase 3. It, nothing else to say. And then we have some mods and songs. Uh, endless, um... Endless Up Taunt Mix, Endless US Mix, which I managed to find one video that has an entire full version of Endless US Mix. 
I, I sadly don't have the URL link to that video, but if I do find it again, then I'll make sure to put a URL link so you can go see that video. It's a live stream of, I think it's Sonic.exe Revival Mod. I think it's EXE Eternal or something else, but it can, but it contain an entire full version of Endless US Mix. There's Endless Japanese Mix, which has like a full version. Very ironic that the Japanese the Japanese mix has this full version, and the U.S. mix only has half of it. It's very fitting because Sonic CD, Sonic CD soundtrack got gypped from the Japanese, from the Japanese in the U.S. And Sonic CD has two soundtracks. Okay, Endeavors, which is essentially just another Majin Sonic song. Fun is Infinite, which drew controversy into wondering if this was a fake song or not. Buff Majin, which I've never even heard of. Sunshine version 2, plus a game over theme maker. Sunshine Encore, which is getting retold for Solus DX. Godspeed for Faker. Relax version 2 for Needle Mouse or Second Needle Mouse Song, whatever the fuck. Her World for Lufer, which everyone was also hyped about, considering Her World needed to be leaked. Mania, Demo Gree, Haze. Haze is the only song that doesn't have a fucking composer listed. Who the fuck makes a song and doesn't list them in the credits? Why is Haze the only fucking song that doesn't have goddamn credits? Ah! Backslash. Hedge. Keep in mind, Backslash is still unfinished. Hedge vocal test. Okay. Forstall Desire. Sally underscore alt song. Rosie underscore alt song. Knuckles underscore alt song. My. Myasma. Mono that BMW song, which also people complain whether this was real or not. Then there's like one no, before we get there. Trickery, Bradworth song, fake baby for no more assists. Then there's My Horizon Wecnia mix, obsolete mix, final mix, remastered mix, version one, faker mix. And now we that there's My Horizon from from Illegal Instruction and Our Horizon. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, then there's seven, eight, and then, and then there's like, there's like eight versions of My Horizon, but apparently there's 18 versions. Sim it's similar to the Chris Brown album, Indigo. Who needs that much fucking Chris Brown? And similarly, who needs that much fucking My Horizons? No wonder Horizons Edge exists. God, no wonder why my Horizons, no wonder why Horizons Edge is just called Horizons Edge. Because it contains nothing but fucking my Horizons. What the fuck is we making a DLC mod just having nothing but just one fucking song with like, like uh, over a dozen different fucking versions. Why? What? Ignore my fake out, ignore whatever the fuck was going on. Sunk.fla song, Ronin song. And oh yeah, there's a Lord, an unnamed Lord X song, Sharpie Showdown, Playful, Face Off, and but last but not least, the best edition yet, a redone knuckle section from Triple Trouble. I fucking hate this. No, it's a good thing I put this. Done with this shit about the team. Look at this. I covered every song and I didn't need to show all the... I didn't need to show any audio. This video is literally 14 minutes. This video is literally less than... Is literally less... Less than Dark Zone's video. Dark Zone's video is literally like almost three fucking hours long. And here's my video. This is my video. And it's like, what? Two... Over two hours of the content is really shaved. I hate myself. But I basically have a busy week on my hands. Because I gotta research all the DLC mods. And I have to research rerun. Hold on a fucking moment. Oh, that's about right. So, to any EXE team member, 
Fuck you. Man. I like this. I like this view. This view lets me soak my depression. Cause I... Cause I knock my 